Each event is preceded by a prophecy, but without the hero, there is no event. In the waning years of the Third Era of Tamriel, a prisoner born on a certain day to uncertain parents was sent under guard without explanation to Morrowind, ignorant of the role he was to play in that nation's history. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison, first by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? What's up, my pilots? And that's not my name, I just wanted to say it. Yes, it is time! Oh god, I'm so excited, man! We're playing Morrowind! It's freaking more it's it's awesome too, it's modded Morrowind. It's like it's, it's like an it's like a cake with an ice cream sundae and and a cherry on top of that. It's like it's it's like it's like blowjobs on your birthday. It just doesn't get better than Morrowind, man. Alright, we are going to be Poncho, no. I'll think of a better name. We need a dark elf name, don't we? Of course we need a dark elf name. What kind of character do you think I'm gonna play? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see. I like... I like, um... I like Jack, but, uh, I don't know about... Dark elf spelling. I'm just gonna call it Jack. There we go. Looks like Jock, but it's Jack. <laughs> Not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Yeah, that voice in the cutscene said that too. I don't know what she was on about, but yeah. Quiet. Here comes the guard. Hello. This is where you get off. Come with me. No, this is your stop, Jube. Oh no, it's my oh, it's my stop. I can, I'm getting directions. You better do what they say. Okay, Jube. Call me. I'll see you later, man. Don't forget to write. I'll miss you. Okay, let's get on. Let's get on with it. Let's get down to business. Excuse me, Mr. Guard. I'm gonna run right past you there. This is a nice. This is a nice boat. Can I, can I borrow this for the Wind Waker LP? No, you're just gonna ignore me like that. All right. Can I steal your stuff? Can I take that, please? I can't take that. At least my hands aren't bound. Ugh. Hello. Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. All right. All right. All right. Oh wow! This is where they want you. Head down to the Morgan Freeman. To the census office. Oh, that's not. Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Look at this, man! Freaking look at this! Oh, it's beautiful! It's beautiful! Hello, hello. You finally arrived, but our records don't show us <laughs> Hey, guard! How's it going, guard? It's a nice name you got there, Mister Guard. All right. Uh, sex? Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Where's my face? Look at all these sexy dumber. Man. Oh, the facial models. So good. Where's Mr. Goatee? Where's my beard? Is that him? I don't know. Is that him? I didn't think he looked like that. Okay. That's him. There's Mr. Beard. Let's get him some good hair. What do we got? Oh, we got the... the uh... <laughs> what do you even call that? It's, it's like the... 1980s power lifter haircut. Oh, here we go. Uh, that haircut's okay, I guess. The giant earrings look like maybe look like a pirate, which is a little bit funny. Ah, huh, here we go. This is a respectable do. And of course, we are a dark elf with our ancestor guardian and uh, resistant fire. Look at the bonuses. Look at them. Look at them. Great. Yep. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office, and they'll finish your release. Oh, this is so great, man. This is so great. So, uh, yeah, wow. Alright, I'm gonna lay it down. I'm not gonna continue. You guys don't know what comes next. Uh, I'm just gonna lay it down right now. This, this, what you're looking at here, this is Morrowind Sound and Graphics Overhaul. There's a link in the description. You can find this. Uh, this is a mod compilation. 
you can find a link to it in the description. And what you'll download is actually an installer, and it will give you all these cool options. You get to choose which stuff you want and which you don't, and it does loads of work for you. It is absolutely great. And that's all, that, one, that one link, that one installer, that's all you have to download to get your Morrowind to look just like this. I've not installed anything else but it. And oh man, it's great. Look at this, there's somebody else here in the tutorial. How's it going, Rashawn? What you doing? So, Jack, you're new to Satanine, and you'd like some help finding your way around. Very sensible. Go ahead, ask your way. Looking for services? Some place? Someone in particular? Need a little advice? Yeah, I, I'd love some advice. Don't expect the natives to take to you right away. Colonists like us, like us, outlanders. Settlers from other provinces will be more open with you and friendly at the start. Maybe when you do a few things, get your name around, then the locals will open up. Stick to your own kind to start. But I'm a dumber. This is my kind. I mean, I guess I'm not from here, though. So even though, even though we're going to be a Dunmer, we're still an Outland, because we're from the Imperial Province, I guess. That's where we were in jail, at least. Alright. I'm going gonna, gonna to go inside. Satanine. Welcome to Satanine! Historical starting point of video games. Census and Excise Office. Hello, hello. Oh, the frame rate's great indoors. I'm getting 60 frames per second right now. You can see in the bottom right-hand corner, actually, what my frame rate is. You can probably read that. Outside, it gets down to about 15 sometimes, which is, eh, it's borderline. Hello? Ah, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you you have, have to be recorded before, before you're officially released. released. There, there are a few ways, ways we can do this, and the, and the choice, choice is yours. God, if I haven't heard that dialogue... If I've heard it once, I've heard it a hundred times. Okay, so, um, this will be the only time that I fill out the form with myself. Yes, you heard me. Only time. Wait a minute. Why wouldn't it be the? Why would it be any other time that you would do it? How many characters are you playing? Well, um, five. I'm thinking five right now. We'll see. All right. So I'm gonna be. Oh, what's my class? I need a class. Oh gosh. We. This character is gonna be. Oh, I just. I don't know yet. I'm going. I'm. This is my. This is my. Be like my main character. This is gonna be my main quest character. So I'm trying to figure out what to call this class. I mean, Wanderer is good. Because uh, that's what we're going to do a lot, is wander around, but I think more like... like I think Quester would be better. Questor. Because what we're going to do is seek out quests. That's not really what I want either. It's more like... Someone who does everything. Goes everywhere. See the world! So I would put in Cosmopolitan. But, uh... That's got the wrong connotations today. So I think... I think Wanderer it is. So, this is going to be an interesting class here. Specialize in magic. We're going to have intelligence and endurance be our main attributes. Because I'm going to start, let's see, destruction. And then my primary attack is going to be short blade and destruction. So we get a plus 10 to short blade for being a dark elf. And then we've got light armor, of course. Light armor is god tier in Morrowind. Alteration is cool. Look at all the cool stuff you can do, man. I'm going to get into more of this later, but right now I don't want to get bogged down in the paperwork. So alchemy, that's also great. Great stuff in Morrowind. And mysticism gives you some fun stuff. It's really it's a useful one in this game. They took it out later. Oh, I can't believe they took it out, man. It's not in Skyrim anymore. It doesn't exist. Block, which is great because it happens automatically in Morrowind. More on that later. Armorer, because just why not? And athletics, because I like to be quick. So we're going to be a pretty quick character using a short blade in athletics. Hopefully we'll get our speed stat nice and high. Ah, description. Ah, oh, what does the Wanderer do? What does the Wanderer do? The Wanderer goes his own way. You know, because you can go your own way. You can go your own way! I love that song. Goes his own way. Seeking adventure wherever it may wait. Cool, I like that. We're a wanderer. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? Uh, I'm a Virgo. Oh, that's not an option? What do you mean it's not an option? That's weird. Okay, well I guess I'm, gonna, I'm an apprentice then. So we're gonna get bonus magicka, but a weakness to magicka. Which is, it's just, yeah, it's alright. Well, that's what I'm taking. Interesting. Now before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Alright, what you got? Alright, so this is where we're starting out, my friends. Uh, Jack! <laughs> Maybe I should put the H first. 
I don't know. I was just gonna, I, maybe I should just go with Poncho. It's, it's, a, it's not a dark elf name at all. But then again, we're from the we're from <laughs> we're from the Imperial Province, aren't we? Let's do Poncho. Why the hell not? I'm not really playing a character in this this one. I'm playing myself, so we're not I'm not, not really playing myself either. I'm just playing my favorite Morrowind build, which is this one. So this is what we got. Uh, a little bit low in block and armor, that's what you'd expect, but starting out with 45 in destruction and 40 in short blade, so hopefully we'll be able to lay on the damage. Our agility is 40, which is decent at this point. Speed and endurance at 50 is wonderful. 50 intelligence is great for our spell casting abilities, combined with the apprentice, gives us 125 magic to start. And 45 health at level 1, which is, which is alright. It could be better, it could be a lot worse. So yes, that is who I am, thank you very much. You now have a stats menu. Cool. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. Yeah, oh, thank you. I'll take these. Huh. For release by Emperor Uriel Septim the Seventh's decree to the mist to the district of Vardenfell in the province of Morwind. Name Pancho, race Dark Elf, race Wanderers. <laughs> Signed, Socia Seagala, agent of state and Nine Imperial Census and Excise. Sixteenth of last seed, third era, four twenty seven. Cool. You know, I have an inventory menu. Cool. Inventory? Does that mean I can pick shit up? Oh, they're not happy with me. I'll put it down. I'm sorry, guys. That was a mistake! I didn't know! I like this. What are you doing? We'll let your actions go for now, but once you release stuff like that, I'll get you arrested again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, can I take this with me? Thanks. Thanks, guys. See you later. Take that limeware platter. Hell yes. Shut the doors. Hmm. Oh, look at the look at the dynamic lighting. Look at the shadows and the updating and the and the textures and ah, it's great. You should learn how to do combat. All right, I'll take it. Equip the dagger. Kaching! Oh, that's my pants. Damn it! That's <laughs> that's not what I want. Press F to pull out your weapon. Once it's ready, to hold and release left mouse button to swing it. The harder you swing it, the more damage it does. So there's a little slash. There's a big slash. And it doesn't, doesn't take out much fatigue because it's so damn light. So I'm gonna, this is how I'm going to play with short, short blades. I'm just going to swing really fast all the time. So you walk forward or backward, or I'll show you, you do a thrust attack like this, where you stab forward in front of you rather than going swinging around. And if you're walking sideways, you do this sideways slash attack. And so when you hover over an item, it gives you all three different ways you can do the damage, which is freaking awesome. Just... I love it, because spears you can only stab with. If you swing them side to side, it doesn't do anything. Look at this. This book has the name of the book written on the book. What, what a novel con- Look at the- Oh, wow, look at the cover. Oh, that's awesome. Yes! So, okay, now the question is... Oh, look at look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. So, uh, uh, one of the things I want to do in, in, in one of these characters is read a bunch of friggin' books. So, that's not this character, though. I'm just going to steal the books and sell them. And now... In in what in what was the the Morrowind style of my childhood? Uh, I'm going to steal every just everything, absolutely everything I can get my hands on. I'm going to take it. Here's a note to Hiskar, which tells us about scrolls and things. The bread tells us about ingredients. Paper is just paper, I guess. There's a shiny knife here. I'm going to take the fork, and here's a lockpick. Oh, that's good stuff. And then you got a potion right there, and a lantern. Dynamic lighting, very nice, thank you. And I'll take the rest of this stuff. <laughs> Absolutely everything. Alright, so down here... I'm just going to go ahead and clear this place out so we don't have to come back. I will take all of that, all of that, all of that... All of these... Check it out, the baskets are animated. That's pretty cool. That's, that's brand spanking new, man. Oh, it's just, it's just beautiful. I love it. Alright, so now it's lockpick. Look at all the crap we've got already. I have to clear that out. So the way you lockpick in Morrowind is you equip the pick, and you wave it at the lock, you go, OPEN SESAME! And when it doesn't work, you try it over and over again until it does. There we go. 31 gold, cool. I'll take all of that. Let's put the lockpick away so we don't look like a huge criminal. Just put that down. Ah, put your hands down. The war's over. Look at this. Look at the trees! You now have a map menu. Yeah, there it is. Look at my map. I'll get those menus organized once they all appear. A barrel! Ooh, a ring! Engraved ring of healing. Take that too. Oh, now we can do magic! Cool. So I can throw my hands up. Throw your hands up. 
So this one of the mods that's installed with this pack is one that lets you do quick fire magic where as soon as you press R, you automatically did I not equip it? As soon as you press R, you automatically throw the spell out. You don't have to push it twice, which is pretty great actually. You have to be careful you don't what's that? Did you guys hear that cat just then? Oh my god, that's great. I love it. I love it. It's great, man. Your papers, please. <laughs> Your papers, please. All right. Don't try to persuade the captain. <laughs> He's far too sexy for your admirations and taunts to work. First, let me take your identification papers. Thank you. Word of your arrival reached me only yesterday. I am Silius, Silus Gravius, but my background is not important. I'm here to welcome you to Morrowind. So that's where they took me, eh? Yes, you're in Morrowind. I don't know why you're here, or why you were released from prison and shipped here. <laughs> hey, 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 I am not a piece of meat! I am a strong, independent dumber who don't need no high elf! But your authorization comes directly from Emperor Uriel Septon VII himself. Why would the Emperor let me out of jail? Why would he be so special? Why was I even in jail? Maybe I got, like, an executive pardon. And I don't need to know any more than that. When you leave this office, you're free. But before you go... <laughs> Genie, I wish you were free. I have instructions on your duties. Instructions from the Emperor. So pay careful attention. I guess the guy did let me out. What are they? This package came with the news of your arrival. You are to take it to Caius Cosades. Is that how you say it? Caius Cosades. It could be Cosades. Cause he might, or it could be like Cosades. Because he's, he's an Imperial. I don't know. In the town of Balmora. Go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for Caius. They'll know where to find him. Serve him as you would serve the Emperor himself. I also have a letter for you. And a dispersal to your name. Oh, so that's some money. And directions and a package for Caius. Okay, where's Balmora? It's north of Sedanine. The road passes the Pelagid village and Fort Pelagid. And then crosses a deep ravine, passes Fort Moonmoth, and does a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, I'm not going to read all of this stuff all the time, because it, goes, it gets written in our journal. Uh, so we can actually find it later. Alright, thank you. I'm going to go now. You've been... Absolutely wonderful, and those pants are just exquisite. Let me let me say just before I go, a little little admiration there. <clears throat> and we're free, free as a bird in a cage. Just press J to use your journal. Ah, great. He says you should check out Ariel's trade house. Here's my journal, and look at this. It tells you what you've been told. My orders are go to Balmora and blah 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 blah. And I think uh, I can options. Oh wow! Look at all this stuff. That's new. Okay, cool. So that's what we've gotten so far is our directions. Oh, look, at, look at the look at the fireplaces, man. That's new. Okay, so I'm gonna lay it down right now. I have not played this basically at all. I mean, obviously I played Morrowind. Uh, I've I've beaten Morrowind, but it was as a kid on the Xbox, and I hardly remember any of it. I mean, I remember you had to get a hammer and a dagger or something like that. And I think that there was a spider guy at some point that you gave, gave ancient secrets from, but that's all spoilers, I guess. Not, not really. It's not very specific. Look at you. Look at that walking animation. Did they improve that? I think they did. It looks pretty good. It's the Morrowind code patch, I believe. I'm not sure. Oh, they're running into each other. That's embarrassing. Gosh, someone should say excuse me or something. It's just weird. But yeah, so I've, I've not played at all with the overhaul. I've, I've not left Satanine at all. I just did some testing to make sure it worked. So I, I'm totally blind in terms of what the mods have done to the game and, and the textures and the, uh, the people. This is not... This, this, is, better be important. this is not the Far Goth I remember. Look at his face. Are you the one that boat dropped off? Odd to see a boat arrive that time of day. I hope the Imperials treated you okay. I swear they took my ring. Um, ring? I swear one of the guards has it. I had it last week before their weekly Let's Shake Down Far Goth ritual, an engraved healing ring, a family heirloom of mine. You haven't seen it? Uh, well... Yeah, yeah, I found it, man. I got your ring right here, brother. You found it? Amazing. Thank you, thank you. You're now my favorite friend. Oh, God. <laughs> You're my special friend. I'll be sure to tell the others, especially my friend Aril. Oh, he runs the trade house. We'll get more money out of him, I bet, now. When we do trades with him. See our little disposition bar increased? It was like 40, I don't know. Now it's at 90, because Fargoth loves us. There goes that cat again. Leave the cat alone! Um, thanks! Yeah, enjoy that ring, Fargoth. Jeez, man, cheer up. But that, that, is, that ring doesn't have any significance, does it? Because this guy, his face looks like he's been carrying the, the ring for quite some time. All those wrinkles he's got. Wow. Oh, this is just great. Just freaking great. Just great. Can we hurry this along? Hey, I don't need no high elf. I ain't talking to you. Snotty bastards. All right, so let's see. Oh, look at, look at Satanine, man. Look at Satanine, man. It's just freaking... Yes. Yes, please. 
More Morrowind, please. Oh, look at that. Look at how far the view distance is now. This is so awesome. This is so better than the Xbox version. It's probably even better than, way better than unmodded PC, too. I see a thing over there that we're going to go in soon. Very soon. For now, let's go into a real trade house. Oh, I'm so ex Dude, I'm just, I'm on the edge of my seat right now. I'm, I'm, oh, it's, oh it's, it's great. It's great. And the best part about it is, I took the friggin', I took the GRE today and just smacked it. I just aced it. And so I'm in this great mood, and I don't have to do anything for, like, a day. Well, I have a midterm tomorrow, but after that, I get, like, a day off. So it's like, yes! Finally, a little bit of time How off. Are you? Ooh. Damn, man! Say something else. That is a sexy voice. Come on, do it again. Do it again. Come on. Say something else in your sexy voice. Oh, fine. Welcome to a real trade house. Uh -huh. I'm a real publican and proprietor. Don't take what doesn't belong to you. Oh, jeez, man. Do I look like a thief to you? I guess I am dressed like a pauper. Anyway. You're a new face here. You want to barter? Let's barter. Alright, let's barter. I'm ready. Okay, let's make these windows bigger. Let me see what I got. There we go. Ah, man, look at me. Yeah, common shirt. I'm going to sell that shirt. You can have that. Alright, so yeah, well, here's one of the mods, I think. Makes the scrolls a little easier to identify on site. God, there's a hole in my arm. That's weird. I'm sell my pants. You can also have my shoes. But I would like to buy a robe from you, please. Thank you very much. What's all I got to sell here? Let's sell some mats. An outlet hide. Um, I might... Well, I'm going to sell this platter. That's worth a bunch of money. And then I'm going to sell all the other crap. That's not worth much. Here's a mod for you. It actually... Normally you have to click on how many you want to sell of something, but... It looks like it's actually uh, automatically selling all I have, which is great, because that's usually what you want. Okay, I can't s go ahead and drop that. Some of the stuff I'm keeping, because it's good alchemy gear. Remember, alchemy is one of our skills. I'm going to sell that. And I'm going to sell the worn iron dagger. All right, so I got 562 gold to barter with you with, huh? Well, I'm not going to buy any armor, because I'm going to get some later. Uh... But I would like some potions so I don't get killed out there. This one looks like it says health on it. Yeah, it's got two of them. Restore fatigue, those are also good. Alright, and then I need... I need a basic mortar and pestle to get me started. And I need... what else? I'd like to have a probe. Just one, please. How do I... How do I get to take just one? Do I have to, like, push shift or something? Yeah, there we go. Just take one probe, please. I'll have a wooden probe, please. Um, sorry, we don't sell that here, sir. I'll take those lock picks. So I'm still making money here, 121 uh, gold. I need a, something short blade. Here we go, a silver short sword. Short blade, one-handed. That's what I like. And it would be great to get a light armor shield just so I have one on me. Let's take a chitin shield. It's made out of animal resin. Pretty cool. Oh, look at the armor. Look at all the stuff, man. The music is playing. The music is playing. I'm, I'm loving it. Okay, great. But I'm gonna try and get a little money, more money out of him too. Oh, it's refused. Go back down. There we go. Thank you. Come again. All right, great. Better put some clothes on before everybody gets antsy. So, okay, let's adjust these right here and now. These spell lists don't need to be that wide. They could be about that wide, and that would be sufficient. I'm gonna make it take up as much space as possible. So, what I'd like to have here is I only need to be able to see that much of it. So I'm going to shrink it. I'm going to make this a lot bigger. So that's where all my stuff is going to be. That's going to be my inventory. And making the map larger doesn't hurt, right? That yeah, couldn't, couldn't be a bad idea. So there. That looks like a use, you could use some space. So we're going to have a lot of room for stuff in here. Our encumbrance is 200, which is five times our strength, which is 40. Let's put on our clothes and our shield and our motorcycle. And, uh, your clothes, your boots, and motorcycle. Alright, cool, we're good to go. I got everything I need, and I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. Alright, so I got fire bite equipped. That's probably gonna be my main weapon right now. Although a sword is always nice. So let's, uh, hop up. Did you see that plant just move when I walked into it? Oh, man. Oh, man, I'm excited. All right, so let's just let's get into it. I'm gonna get into explaining some some more stuff in more detail next time, but I want to just I want to get I want to get a little bit of adventuring done. I got one goal. I got one thing I want to get in this episode, and it might be ridiculous, 
BAM! Take that fire spell. When hit KO the mud grabs. And when you click dispose of corpse, you automatically take all the stuff they have, so it's one click wonder. BAM! For the mud grabs. Get out of here. I'll take your mud crab meat, please. Thank you very much. Since I'm an alchemist, I'm going to be compulsively collecting all the goodies. And it's a little bit too bright out here right now. Can I? Whoops. That's not what I wanted. I want to wait until it's a little bit darker. So I'm going to chill out for about five hours. There we go. Because the, uh, yeah, the mushrooms will be easier to spot now because they glow. <laughs> cool, huh? Look at the real time shadows. Look at the real time shadows, man. Oh, it's great. It's great. Where's my sword? Come here, you. Huzzah! Ow! Boom. Get your mud crab. Get out of here. Let's go for a little swim. Collect some junk down here. Look at the frogs. You hear this? Here's a mod for you. Normally these were like containers. You'd open them up and then have to select how much you wanted to take. And if they, it would just be empty if you didn't find anything. And now you just get to click on them like in Morrowind and, and the future, or in Oblivion and the future games. Click, 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 click. Oh, he paralyzed me. Asshole. Come on. Smack him. Smack him. Oh, got him. All right, great. I'm gonna bust his head right off. I'll dispose of his corpse. So there's all kinds of goodies over there. I'm not headed to that one that we saw, though. I'm heading to another one that I know is right around the corner over here. I figure I can beat up some mud crabs on the way. Look at the moon. Is that the moon over there? I thought it would be bigger than that. Is that the moon? Maybe that's just a, a dot. That, no, that's the sun. Derp. <laughs> I thought it would be larger in the sky. It looks really small. I don't know. Maybe that's that's a mod too, I bet. There we go. Let's see all these Oh, hello. Jesus, mud crabs. Look how camouflaged he is. Dude, I didn't see him until he moved. I would have walked right by if you just stayed still, man. Your camouflage was totally working. See, if you weren't an aggressive asshole coming over here and attacking me, I wouldn't even have seen you. I love the frog sounds. Oh, that makes it feel so much more like a swamp. That's beautiful. I love it. I love it. Oh, this is like everything I remember that I love. I remember everything I remember loving about Morrowind, plus cool graphical and sound additions. So we are in Samaras. Yeah, Samaras ancestral tomb outside of Satanine, and we're gonna get a really useful item in about 30 seconds. Oh, all right. So we got two choices here. We got a ghost coming at us. I, I got a silver sword, so my sword would work, but my destruction skill is higher, so I'm gonna try and lay this guy out with a fire spell. Oh, didn't quite get him. Let's finish him with the sword. Gotcha. There we go. Now I'm gonna take his ectoplasm. And all that stuff. I'll search the whole ruins on the way out, so we, we, we won't miss any goodies. Hear that? Feels like we got a skeleton on the inside of this door. Come here, you! Oh, how do you like them apples? Bam! Fire spell! Unarmored skill increased. That doesn't matter. All right, take all the goodies there. Fortify bargain, fortify health. And there's a chest, and an urn labeled Lord Bryn. Now, typically, I don't have uh, much forewarning for uh, what we're going to be running into. And in, in the future, this won't be, like, the standard or anything. Uh, but for this particular little... Oh, that's not even locked. What am I doing? Oh, it's empty. That's a slap in the face empty chest. Uh, yeah. So, I happen to know that this urn is trapped, and I'm gonna demonstrate here. Let me save. New save game. Gosh, what do I call this? Start numbering them so I can keep track of what we're at. Uh, so I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna open this, I'm just gonna open the urn. And then, oh god, and the trap goes off, and, and you get to look at the inventory. There's some cool stuff in here. And then you get killed. Crap. So you can try different ways to try and avoid the damage there. You can fortify your health before opening it. You can try and cast a healing spell as the damage is coming on. You can put a shield on yourself. Uh, but I think the best the best way around it would be to probe it, which is going to set off the trap without hurting you. Now hopefully I can get this to succeed without my... Without my there we go. Trap disarmed. Great. Ah! Once so we get our goodies, first off we get a, chest, a key to that chest down there. We get the Ashes of Lord Bryn. A little bit of background here. Lord Bryn was the name of uh, was the username of a user on the uh, Bethesda forums. 
way back in the day when they were developing Morrowind, and he died during the production of the game, and so they memorialized him here in the game by putting his ashes in the game. Uh, and here inside his urn is the Mentor's Ring. This is a, I think it's actually a unique item in the game. It fortifies your intelligence and your willpower by 10 points each. I'm gonna put that on. And you'll see the magical effect happening here. Oops. Oops, I hate quick save. That's not what I wanted. Which key t turns my tab? There we go. Yeah, so. Look at me. <laughs> Probe? Probe? <laughs> but yeah, um. So my intelligence and willpower are both being fortified by 10, which took my Magicka from 125 to 150. 25 more points of Magicka, straight off the bat at level 1. Dude, that kicks ass. You can't top that. You can't top that for early game advantage. Alright. Key to the Lord Brain's chest was used to open the lock. Great. Now it's open. And another freaking open <laughs> another empty chest. It must be levels, and I'm level 1, so I'm not getting any loot at all. Which sucks. Take that. I think that's a scroll of... Hellfire or, hin or unhinging, I can't remember which. What is this? I'll take that too. It's just a crushed fiber. The rest of these are going to be full of bone meal, I bet, so I'm not going to bother looking in the urns. There we go, Telvani's Courage. Cool. Or Telvin's Courage, rather. Shut the door on your way out. Be polite now. And that is it. Versamoros Ancestral Tomb. That's all of it. Just. God, it is like stepping out into the night. It's absolutely awesome. Okay, wow, just great. I feel like this video has probably gone on long enough, so I'm going to trek back over to Sadineen and, uh, come... Oh, loading area. Come morning time, we're going to... Yeah, it's really dark. All right, let me, uh, if you probably can't even see, let me get my light out here. I kept the candlestick for this exact purpose. It's not very bright, is it? No. So, if we're... I'm going to try to avoid... Look at the sky. Oh... My god. Oh, dude, look at this. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Dude, that is just awesome. That is freaking awesome, man. Look at, look at the night sky. That is so beautiful. Dude, that is just... Wow. Just wow. That that's where I am right now in this LP. Just astounded. I'm pleased, I'm very pleased. This is exactly what I was hoping this mod would be, and I, it is it was so worth the wait. Ah, oh, man. I've been wanting to LP this game for like two or three months now. I've been wanting to I've been really wanting to start filming and start start making the LP. And this mod just finally came out earlier this week. I figured I'd wait until after the GR. Look at those. You can see the little bugs flittering around in, in the water over there. Dude. I was going to wait until after the GRE to start filming, and oh man, this day, this day could not have gone better. Ow! Scrib? Get out of here. I have, dang it, i got a bunch of people coming after me here. Get out of here! Okay, they're getting, they're getting angry. I'm going to use my fire spells. They're, they're a lot better than my sword. <laughs> when it kills. Yeah. This day could not have gone better. Alright, well, I, I don't know about you guys, but... I'm really excited. Look at the look at the light coming out the windows. Look at Satanin, man! Dude, just... Ah! I'm so excited about this LP now. I'm just... Ah, this is even better than I expected it to be. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh, man, I just... I can't wait for the next video. Oh, my candle burnt out. <laughs> I better get some more torches or something. I'm going to need more than just a candle. Oh, wow. So this is... This is rocking. I'm just... I'm ex I'm ecstatic right now. I'm... Friggin... This is great. The, the light is even coming out. It's pouring out the windows into the street. That is absolutely awesome. Look at the lighting! This is so beautiful. This is... If this came out today, this this could pass for modern graphics. You, you would buy this game today. Oh, this Let's is... Hear. I can't even... I'm just... Ah. Oh. There's, there's, there are no words for how pleased I am with, with the way this looks and the way that it's playing, and I just... It's the gameplay of Morrowind with, the, with modern graphics and sounds. It's just... It is the perfect video game. This is... I, oh, maybe not perfect, but it's the probably the best video game ever 
And if the game continues the way that this episode has gone, it's going to become my new favorite game of all time. And I'm, I'm super excited to continue this LP. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop drooling now and just uh, say, see you guys next time on uh, Let's Play Morrowind. <laughs>